when you find yourself under such a situation, the first thing you should make sure of is, is to make sure the drum wave is working properly by reversing it in the opposite direction and it actually reverses back. Okay. So what you should do next is to get a new rope. After you've gotten a new rope, so what you should do, locate there's a hole by the side of the drum wave. So you locate it and you pass the hole through the drum wheel, pass the rope through the drum wheel, okay? So after you've passed it, you're not, you're not the end of the rope. As you can see from the video, I'm not in the end of the rope. Make sure it is properly knotted, okay? It should be very, very tight. Then what you should do next is to pass the other end of the rope through the chassis of the starter. As you can see in this video, I've passed it. So after that, you take the starter handle and you pass it through the other end. Then you also knot the other end of this rope. Very easy. Okay, so once you follow this instruction, following this instruction, it's not very, very hard. As you can see, it's very, very descriptive. So making sure it is very, very tight. Release um, a little length of the rope inside the starter and locate a line. You see a line by the side of the drum wheel. It's in every starter drum wheel. So move it in the clockwise direction after you've hooked it. As you can see from this video now, I'm making a anti-clockwise rotation and i'm using my left thumb to hold it after every turn okay the reason is that if you don't um hold it after every turn the drum will re reverse back due to the force of the spring inside so making sure that everything is intact and as you can see from this video so what you should do is that you draw out the rope then you release it it's as simple as that thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe